As Alexander fought his way through Medo-Persia, Egypt, and even Asia Minor, he fought with such fierceness that it is rumored that he never lost the battle. People were scared of him. We actually have found some ancient footage that tells the story of an Egyptian army general who survived Alexander's attack. Let's take a look. Is it on? Uh, okay, here we go. So, um, I was sitting there in my tent with all my army generals, uh, and we were just chilling, right? And all of a sudden, this messenger comes in, he's running, he's like, Ah, Alexander's coming, he's coming! And I, I, I freak, I start freaking out, right? So I run out of my tent, and I see this cloud of dust over the hill, and I, I'm starting to get really scared, and so I start running around trying to get everything organized, you know, trying to get my arm together, and, and, and they were, it was crazy, everyone was running, and, and we're trying to get organized to, to fight Alexander, and, and then all this, before we can get organized, Alexander just comes in, and he's just fighting us, and fighting us, and, and oh, it's mass murder, this guy's crazy, he's just fighting fighting and he's killing everyone. It's just so, I mean, m blood and everything, guts everywhere in this guy. He's, he's, oh, it was so sad. I don't even like to think about it. But anyway, so, so me and my, my um, this one other guy, we, we, we escaped, we ran out, we got on these horses and we just galloped as fast as we could and we got out of there. We finally, we, we got out of there and everyone else died, but we, 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 we made it and, and we are still alive. Yeah, yeah, so that's, that's what happened. Um, yeah. After fighting his way throughout all the known world, Alexander began to head home. He stopped in Babylon to celebrate his victories. One night, while celebrating, he got drunk, very drunk. So drunk that he began to get sick. And one night, he just went off into a corner and died. <clears throat> Unfortunately, Alexander was drunk when he died, so he didn't appoint anyone to rule Greece after his death. So what happened was, his generals began fighting for rule of Greece. Now there were several generals, but there are four generals that I want to talk about in particular. The first one is Cassander. The second, Ptolemy. The third one was Seleucus. The fourth one was Lysimachus. These four generals, they were the ones who ended up controlling Greece. Cassander, well, he took the western part of Greece. Ptolemy, he took Egypt. Lysimachus, he took the little area over here. Even though the kingdom of Greece was divided amongst Alexander's generals, it still was the most powerful nation on earth. The Greek culture encompassed itself throughout all of the known world. Let's listen in to a lecture given about the Greek culture.
figures and statues were a very common thing at this time, showing again the important role that religion played in the daily lives of the Greeks in this period. Dance was also very important to the Greeks. People would dance for festivals, weddings, and parties. Strangely enough, men and women rarely danced together. Some dances were simply danced by men, while others would be danced by women. Greeks also loved stories and storytelling. Because of this, they made up many myths and stories. Some of the myths and stories like the Iliad and the events surrounding the Trojan War are still known today. The clothing the Greek women and their slaves made were very simple. They normally wore linen tunics and cloaks in the summer and wool tunics and cloaks in the winter. The clothing was normally bleached white, but sometimes it was decorated with colors and symbols from their province and state. The Greek diet was a healthy one, mainly consisting of many grains like wheat and barley, lots of beans, fruit, vegetables, olives, bread, cakes, and salads. They would also keep goats to supplement their diet with goat milk and cheese. All right, so we've talked about the rise of Greece. We've talked about the location of Greece, um, the division of Greece, the culture of Greece. Um, so. Why don't we just take a few minutes and recap. Look at some of the important dates. Make sure we've got it all up here. This is the timeline of the Greek Empire. In 336 BC, Philip died leaving his son Alexander in charge of Greece. Two years later, Alexander left his home in Macedonia and began his conquest of the known world. About a year later, in 333, he fought the monumental battle of Issus. Two years later, he fought another major battle, the Battle of Guagamela. In 323, Alexander died, leaving no one in charge of Greece. His generals began fighting for the Greek kingdom, and finally in 301, the Greek kingdom was divided into four parts. In 288, Lysimachus defeated Cassander, now putting Greece into three parts. In 281, Seleucus defeated Lysimachus, now Greece was in two parts. In 168, Greece fell into the Roman hands at the Battle of Pydna.